All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikak Wadash. I want to give double honor to my apostle and elders, a great millstone who do rule and teach well, and peace and salutations to all Yahweh out there pushing his truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yara. Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the sheep in all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. All right, Yahweh is the correct name of the Heavenly Father, who the word ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the correct name of our Lord and Savior, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, those are the names to call upon in these perilous times that we're coming into to be delivered and to be saved. All right, now you see the title. All right, Yahweh Shai delivers, not us. Okay, Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Shai delivers, not us. OK, now um, the title is uh, stems from this video here that you see on the screen. All right. Which was shared by uh, um, the elder brother, uh, 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 Tazawam. All right. Here in this uh, uh, a church of Great Millstone here in Wisconsin. All right. He shared it in the chat. Um, definitely. I, I, I checked it out. The video isn't that long. Uh, I'm not going to play the video. All right. I'm going to leave a link to the to the uh, video in the uh, description box. OK, for brothers and sisters to go check it out. All right. But I'll just uh, um, give you a synopsis of the video. Right. I'll just sum it up. Right. So. Uh, here it is. Let me see the name of the video. All right. The video, first and foremost, comes from uh, Holly. Let me see. It's a lot here. All right. The channel is uh, Holly Cotton. Okay, that's the lady right there with the pink microphone, all right? And the guy to the left, all right, is uh, uh, Captain Tazariak, okay, of ISUPK, all right, as you can see it on his shirt, all right? So the uh, the uh, title for this this uh, interview or, uh, you know, whatever, is uh, Warriors for Change, Empowerment. It's like a, um, Empowerment in Action with ISUPK. All right. Warriors for change. All right. Empowerment in action uh, with ISUPK. Now, when you read that title, you're like, OK. All right. You know, there's there's nothing wrong with that. Right. But let's let's go into the uh, description down here at the bottom here. OK. Let's read it into this a little bit. OK. It says because this is what the, this is what the episode is about. Right. In this episode, host Holly Cotton and Captain Tazariak of ISUPK. All right. Talk about their talking about ISUPK national preventative measures to stop crime domestic violence and and provide counsel to keep families together you see so so uh, those things those things that were named off right there okay crime domestic violence and and, and uh, uh a counsel right to keep families together those are all things uh, um um that are part of the curses man okay I mean, why would you have to um, provide counsel to keep families together? OK, because families are what divided. OK. All right. The mother hates the father. The father hates the mother. The children hate hate the parents. The parents hate the children. All right. These are a part of the curses, man. All right. And it's and it's the time that we're living in. Right. The scripture says what the Lord said, what uh, uh, um, think not that I've came to to, to uh, bring peace on earth, but rather division. OK. So these are all a part of these are all a part of uh, um, the times that we're living in and mostly a part of the curses that our people, the Israelites, are under. OK, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, man. All right. So 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 right away, you know, I didn't just read that. I, I went and I watched the entire uh, interview. Right. You see, and the first thing that came to my spirit and a couple other brothers spirit. All right. Was the fact that. um you know, these guys are trying to are trying to uh, uh, deliver Jake out of the curses, man. OK. Or trying to lift the curses off of Jake. You see. And you can't do that, man. All right. We don't have the power to do that, man. OK. We didn't even look, look, look. We didn't even bring ourselves into this truth. All right. The scripture says what the Lord said, what uh, uh, um, you have not. Uh, I, uh, you have not chosen me, but I've chosen you. You see. And ordain you a prophet, you know, ref, roughly paraphrasing. See, the Lord brought us into this truth and brought us out of the world. All right. Spiritually and mentally. You see, 
We didn't do that for ourselves. You see, we couldn't even deliver ourselves out of the valley of the dry bones, man. How are we going to lift the curses up off ourselves, man? Okay. And that shows you the pride that these camps have, man. Okay. And and the uh, the, the uh, delusion that they've fallen into because of their pride. All right. So inside of this video, you know, that pretty much sums up what they were talking about, man. You know, bringing food and, and you know, uh, um, crossing the, the uh, Mexican border, you know, uh, uh, into Mexico to uh, bring food to the so-called Haitians, man. You know, and all these other different things, man. All right. And uh, uh, um, let me let me first point out the one thing I noticed was after I watched the entire interview, there was there was no uh, uh, precepts brought out, man. No edification, man. Where was the edification, Captain Cesariak? OK, and don't forget that this is the same group. OK, uh, ISUPK. All right. That uh, 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 um, um, told you that. Uh, um, it was it John the Baptist? OK, if, if, you know, if they if they want to call John the Baptist a plate of fish, hand them the hot sauce. Right. You see, even including their leader during the time of uh, um, 2020, you know what happened during 2020. All right. During the time of 2020, all right, their head, okay, the head of their organization or camp, okay, told you to go ahead and get the, you know, stabbing jab, man. All right, so so that so that y'all can so that y'all can go on vacation and, and and you know head to the beach. All right, that's madness, man. Okay, so keep that in mind with, with you know with this particular camp. Okay, you see, so I want to bring out this precepts. These two precepts really quickly before we get into the other precepts. Okay. Like I said, I'm not going to play the video. All right. I'll leave a link so you, you know, you brothers and sisters can go check it out yourself. Right. So this is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, and verse 16 and 17. And it reads, All scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. All right. And is profitable. Okay. This is what this is why the scriptures are uh, are uh, are uh, um uh, uh, profitable, okay, for a doctrine. For reproof, for correction, okay, which is what which is what a reproof is, okay, correction, for instruction in righteousness, see, instruction in righteousness, man, all right, why that every man, it's like that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works, you see, all right, well, I already know the people in the comment section, well, hold on, brother, you know, because every time we get at their favorite camp. You know, here they come in the comment section. Well, hold on, brother. Those are good works that the that ISUPK is doing. Those are good works. Yeah, but yeah, but were we were we not uh um were we not instructed to do certain works? Were we not instructed to to, to uh, do certain works? I'm not gonna jump ahead, but we're definitely gonna pull that scripture. Okay. But let's go to this next one. All right. I'm a little excited, so let me calm down. <laughs> all right it's the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 and uh verse with 13 and 14 and it reads let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter okay the this is this is what we were put here for okay all right fear god yahweh and keep his commandments okay fear yahweh and keep his commandments okay for this is the whole duty of man see the whole duty of man is to follow God and keep his commandments. Follow the heavenly father, Yahweh, and keep his instructions. Follow his instructions, man. His laws. You see? For God, or Yahweh, shall bring every work into judgment. See? With every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. See? All right? So this is the whole, so the point is the whole duty of, the whole duty of man, okay, is to, uh, 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 um, fear the heavenly father Yahweh and keep his commandments man okay all right give me the scripture for you guys are going to get in the comment board okay give me the scripture where it said where where, where the Lord told us to go out and uh, uh, um, uh, um feed the wicked of our own people man okay feed those that uh, uh, um feed you know feed and help the naysayers man all right aid aid the wicked you see you can't find that man OK. All right. We have we have specific instructions, man. OK. Now, number one, like I said, I didn't see any precepts. OK. 
I didn't see any precepts and there was no edification. OK, all, all the only thing they were talking about is 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 his or, you know, their uh, uh, humanitarian, uh, uh, um, you know, things that they were doing. OK, when he had open when he had multiple opportunities to bring out the word man, to bring out the truth. OK, that's our job to preach the word. man. OK, to warn the people, man. All right. So let's get a. Uh, First Peter chapter four and verse 11. All right. And it reads, if any man speak, see, just like he was speaking in the interview. All right. With that young lady. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. You see, if any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God, Yahweh Shai, giveth. All right. That God in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right. To whom be praised and dominion. It's like a for for, for uh, to whom be to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. See, so <clears throat> if he should have he had he had multiple opportunities to to uh, 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 present the truth. OK, number one, he he spoke about uh, he mentioned the uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, name Christ or Jesus. Right. He could have. He could have he could have promoted Yahweh Shai. OK. All right. See, it, it's all about. See, the scriptures talk about singing a new song. See, that's the new song. OK. Is it brand new? No. OK. It's new. It's refreshed. OK. Because 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 the Lord has gifted it, you know, gifted us to be for it to be brought back to our memory. OK. Via Yahweh Shai. All right. So this is that new song that the world has never heard, man. OK, the world isn't used to hearing uh, the the, uh, the uh, truth. OK, like the true names of the Heavenly Father and his son. All right. And he and he had an opportunity in a platform and a stage to promote that. OK, but he didn't do that. Man. See, that's why the Lord that's that's why the Lord uh, 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 um, segregates. All right. Those that are that are false prophets. OK. And those that and, and uh, those that are true worshipers, man. OK. And you can tell by their works, man. All right. So, number one, I, I, I didn't I didn't hear any precepts. No edification came out of watching that video. OK. All right. Only thing I found out was that this guy, hey, these, these guys do humanitarian uh, 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 work. You know, this is the name of their group and this is how I can donate. You see. And that's BS, man. All right. Now, trying to lift the curses off of Israel, man, we can't lift the curses off of Israel. Number one, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is the one that put the curses on Israel, man. OK, because they try to make it seem like the white man did it. OK, the white man didn't do it. man. Edom didn't do it. OK, not by his own will. OK, the Heavenly Father uh, uh, gave him the power to do it, man. All right. Allowed him to do it. You see, allowed him to put hell on us or, you know. Which 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 he did it uh, 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 via the curses, man. OK. You see. But the power and the allowance, OK, came through the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you see. So this is uh, the book of Deuteronomy. All right. Speaking of curses, and you can read all about the curses from uh, verse 15. It's like a verse 14. Was it not verse 15 all the way down to 68? OK. But um, our people were. All right. Uh, commanded to keep the Lord's commandments, man. All right. As a nation. And we didn't do that. OK, so let me get this right to the point. OK, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 45. And it reads, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee OK, and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. And it's like it, it says, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, thy God. See? All right. So all these curses came upon us because we didn't hearken unto the voice of the Lord. All right. Our God, all right, Yahweh, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. All right. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. See, forever. OK, you see, now is it not not now is the curse is going to be upon our people forever? Absolutely not. OK, but it's been so long, it feels like forever, man. OK, and it's getting worse and worse as the years go by. 
right? But this is something that we deserve. Why? Because we didn't hearken unto the voice of the Lord, all right, to keep his commandments and his statutes, man, which he commanded us to keep, you see? So that's how the curses fell upon us, man, all right? The Lord just uh, uh, um, brought it upon us via uh, Esau Edom, man, conquering us, you see? Putting us in situations and, and, and uh, predicaments, you know, to uh, oppress us, man, okay? And now you got Jake trying to swoop in. Hey, I'm, a, I'm Captain Tazariak. I'm an Israelite. All right, here's some food. There's some water, brother. Like, come on, man. You can't lift the curses up. You know, you can't you can't lift the curses up off of a uh, 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 um Jacob, man. Okay. We were we were we were sent here to do one thing, man. All right, and that's to preach the word. Okay, but let me also get this here. All right, Salakia. I think I got it here already. Yep. This is the, the prayer of Azariah, okay? And we'll start at verse 6, all right? Chapter 1 and verse 6, all right? On down to verse 9, and it reads, For we have sinned, all right? To my, to my the Israelites, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, departing from thee. See, we departed from the Lord, all right? This is the reason why we were cursed as a nation, okay? It says, verse 7, In all things have we trespassed. All things have we trespassed, see? And not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us. See? All right? That's why we have the curses upon us, man. You see? Jake is hard-headed and stiff-necked, man. Even till this day, they trespass against the Lord. And you want to go help them? Come on, man. All right? Let the Lord be the judge of that, man. Okay? Verse 8, it says... Wherefore, all that thou hast brought upon us, right, the curses, right, the hell, the agony, right, the oppression via Esau, Edom, and the other nations, right? Hell, even hell, even our own people are oppressing us, man, right? It says, in everything that thou hast done to us, thou hast done in true judgment. See, we deserved it, man. All right, verse 9. And thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies. See, our enemies, Esau, Edom, man. OK, most hateful forsakers of God. Right. And to an unjust king and the most wicked in all the world. See the wicked. All right. Esau Edom, man. All right. What does it say in Proverbs? I think uh, nine and twenty twenty four. It says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. The rulership of the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, man. All right. Which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, woman and child, man. All right. So this is why we have the curses upon us, man. All right. So no, uh, Captain Desariak, man. All right. Yeah. How is shy delivers? Not us. OK, you can't you can't you can't lift the, the uh, curses up off of Jake, man. All right. Jake, uh, Jake is destroyed out here. OK. Let me get this here. All right. Matter of fact, let me jump here. All right. We have one job. All right. One job. Let's see what that job is. OK, let's go to uh, where we'll go here. Let's go to the book of uh, Ezekiel. Let me see. My, my eyes are bad, so like you. Where? Am I tweaking? All right, right here. So like you. All right. Chapter 3 and verse 17. All right. And it reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. See, this is, this is what the Lord... Uh, uh, called us to do okay to be watchmen unto the house of israel right it says therefore hear the word at my mouth okay the, the the lord's mouthpieces okay is his men okay the prophets all right the men that you see on making these digital epistles all right and on the highway and most mostly on the highways and hedges okay it says and give them warning from me see all right Give them warning from me. That's our job, man. Okay? To be watchmen unto the house of Israel, all right? You see? To hear the word, all right? At the Lord's mouth, right? For us for us to teach the word, right? And preach it to our people, right? And give them warning from me, okay? Give them warning from the Lord, Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right? That's our job, okay? Matter of fact, let me get this to... Uh, Let's see, lift up voice. Let's do that. Let's see if it pops up. 45. 
I would pop up. Let's see. Like a it's like a trumpet. All right. There we go. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse one. And it reads, cry out, cry aloud, spare not. OK, this is what we're supposed to do, man. All right. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. OK. All right. Speak it very uh, uh, um, um, authoritative. OK. Uh, uh, um, masculine. OK. Austere. It says, and show my people, the Israelites, their transgression and the house of Jacob, their sins. That's what we're supposed to do. All right. There's nothing in the scriptures where it says, hey, go go hand out boxes of canned goods to the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, poor and oppressed. All right. Doesn't matter if they're serving the Lord or not. Just go ahead and give it to them. No, it doesn't say that, man. All right. Now, now, are we supposed to help fellow Israelites that actually believe and serve the Lord? Absolutely. There are scriptures on that. OK. But not but not the other way around, man. OK. All right. Jake is destined for death, man. OK. Jake is destined for death. Why are you trying to lift the curses up off of Jake and they're destined for death? Let me get that. All right. Let's get that. Matter of fact, let's 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 go back to the blue letter. OK, let's go back to the blue letter. All right. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 13. And you know where we're going. Verse eight. OK. And it reads, and it shall come to pass that in that day, it's like it, it's like it. And it shall come to pass that in that. In all the land, which is the world, right? Saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. All right. This chapter in the beginning of the chapter is talking about Israel. Okay. So this is talking about the Israelites. Okay. Two parts. Okay. Two thirds of our people are going to be cut off and die. Okay. That's prophecy. That hasn't happened yet. Okay. So why are you trying to deliver or 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 or, or uh, take the curses up off of these people that are going to be uh, uh, that are pretty much destined for death anyway, man. They're destined for judgment, man. Okay? This is prophecy, man. The Lord said it. You see? What you trying to, what you trying to, what you trying to uh, uh, um, um, change it to make the Lord, uh, um, um, you know, come out to be a liar? Come on, man. See? This is what happens when you go against the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai and try to do your own thing, your own type of way. No, the Lord gave us instructions, okay? When you have a job, it's so like, let me see where time we at. When you have a job, right? Any job, okay? All right? They give you certain uh, uh, instructions, all right? You have a certain purpose when you're hired for that job, okay? When you have that job position, man, okay? You don't call a, you don't call a, 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 um, a, a firefighter to help you, you know, unclog your toilet, man, okay? Just like you don't call a plumber to, to, to come over and help you cook a meal, all right? Or, 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 you know, call a policeman to help you come put out a fire. All right. Everybody, every, every, every job position has its purpose, man. Okay. And our, in this job that we have, all right, the purpose is to go out there and teach the word, right? Whether they hear or forbear, as it is written, right? Whether they take heed or not. All right. So that the blood is off our hands and that's it. Okay. That's it. You know? That's 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 literally all we can do for two thirds, man, or our people. Period. Okay. Scriptures also talk about uh, uh, um, uh, uh, we water, right? We water. Matter of fact, let me get that. All right. We plant the seed. All right, but the Lord. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, God. Uh, yeah. Yep. It's the book of First Corinthians, chapter three and verse six. All right, and it reads: It says, "I have planted, Apollos watered." Right. All right. The, the, these are prophets, right? And this is what and this is what we are set up to do. Okay. All right, to plant and to water. Okay. You see. But God gave the increase, okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? The Heavenly Father Yahweh gives the increase, man, all right? Yahweh why Yahweh Shai, all right? So, so then neither he, it's like, so then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God that, okay? So like, let me go into that. 
feel like because I want to finish the verse. All right. It says now, now it's like now he that planteth. All right. Well, well, let me finish that. All right. Verse seven, it says, so, so then neither is he that plants of anything, neither he that watereth, but God, Yahweh Shai, that giveth the increase. See? All right. So we can't go out there and say, oh, I woke up these many people. No, you didn't wake up anybody. OK, we didn't wake up anybody. OK, we didn't heal anybody, man. OK, we planted the seed by giving them the truth, the words of Yahweh Shai. OK, not our words, but the Lord's words, man. OK. You see, and 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 watered that seed, man. OK, but the Lord, all right, gives the increase. OK, how does anything grow after you uh, uh, plant the seed, bury the seed and then water it? OK, the sun, the the the, the uh, sunshine. All right. The sun has to come and beam upon that land for that, you know, and, and, and uh, determine if that if that seed is going to grow into something. OK. That's how that's how that's how we were a uh, uh, reborn, right? In the spirit, okay. All right, seeds were planted inside of us, all right, spiritually, okay, and watered, and then the Lord, you know, uh, 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 gave the increase, okay, and we woke up to the truth, we accepted the truth, okay. That that's how you save your people, okay. <laughs> if anything, right? That that's how you uh, 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 deliver them, man, okay. You give them the word. You see. And hope that the Lord, uh, uh, um, um, you know, increases them, man. Okay, you know, you, you know, build, uh, uh, um, raise them to be believers and and, and uh, true worshippers of Yahweh Shimei Shai. It ain't of us, man. All right. So, I just wanted to make that point. All right. So, like, let's keep going. All right. So, Jake is destined for death. We we, we read that in Zechariah thirteen. And uh, the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, and verse 8, okay, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, okay? You see? Because they love darkness, man, all right? They love darkness. Jake loves evil, man, okay? Why do you think they love hip-hop, okay? Because hip-hop is, is a wickedness, man. It's everything adverse to uh, uh, the laws, statutes, and commandments that the Lord told us to keep, okay? To not trespass against your brother, all right? To not hate your mother, and your father, all right, to not hate your brother, okay, you see, to take care of your family, and you know, for you women to be a, a, a um, um, silent, all right, soft, gentle, all right, you see, having grace about yourselves, see, this world teaches you everything opposite, man, okay, and Jake, you know, promotes that, and and and, and uh, Jake loves it, man, okay, so you mean to tell me you're trying to help these niggas, man, like, come on, come on now. All right. Let me uh, hurry up. All right. I don't want to make this too long. So this is the book of John, St. John, chapter three and uh, verse 19. All right. And it reads and this is red letter. OK, as you can see. So this is how we shy. This is our Lord and Savior speaking. OK. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. All right. And that light started with how shy. OK. You see. And men love darkness rather than light. Jake don't want Yahweh Shai. Jake doesn't want uh, uh, um, that light, that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right, from the heavens. They don't want that, okay? Why? Because their deeds were evil, okay? You see? For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, see? So you're going you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna to help, you know, some, uh, you know, two-thirds that hate what you represent they ultimately hate the lord they hate yahweh shy but i'm a but i'm a help them though no man okay it says neither cometh to the light least his deeds should be reproved and jake don't want to be corrected they don't want their deeds to be reproved go up to a nigga that's that, that's eating a pork sandwich and say hey brother you're an israelite you the uh, uh, uh um um your god okay told you or commanded you not to eat pork he gonna look at you crazy man he might even try to fight you OK, trust me. Look, look, br look, brothers know, you know, some brothers have those testimonies. I know I do. OK, a old nigga, too, man, tried to fight me, you know, all because I told him about pork. That's it. OK, but that's why it's not wise to do that, man. That's why the scripture says what? Cast not thy pearls before swine. Let them niggas eat their pork, man. All right. You see. 
Let them niggas do it, man. All right. So why? Because they they love darkness rather than light, man. Okay. So we we're not trying to help Jake out, man. All right. We ain't trying to save these niggas. Okay. Let's get that. Let's get this. All right. It's the book of uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. All right. Chapter 12 and verse four and five. Okay. All right. And it reads, it says, give to the godly man. All right. Give to the give to the give to the men and the women that believe. All right. That are in the faith. OK. The ones that the ones that truly serve you. How about Shimei was shy. Right. And help not a sinner. See, give to the godly man and help not a sinner. See that? That's that. I don't even have to break that down. OK. It's straight to the point. Verse five, do well unto him that is lowly, right? See, brother, that she just says, says do well to him that is lowly. Well, let's keep reading. Okay. It says, but give not to the ungodly. Why the, the, look, the ungodly are the unbelievers, man. Okay. The ones that hate the light because their deeds were evil. Okay. See, that's the ungodly right there. I'm talking about of our people, right? It says, hold back thy bread. You're, look, when you watch the video, you hear Captain Tazariak tell the lady, right, that they went to deliver food to the to the uh, Haitians that were in uh, Mexico, you know, sleeping under bridges. But the scriptures clearly say, hold back thy bread, you see, and give it and give it not unto him. See, least he overmaster thee thereby, for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil. All right, for all the good that thou it's like that it's like thou thou shalt have done unto him. See, all right, you can go help a nigga and uh, uh, come on now, man. Matter of fact, I got a testimony, a quick testimony, right? So and and this actually happened a couple of days ago. Okay, so I was I was in traffic at a red light. Okay, and I was probably like the fifth or sixth car from the light. Okay, or or you know from the front. Okay, you see. And there was a car, all right, at a Walmart trying to trying to you know uh, turn out of the parking lot into my lane, right? So once I saw a chance, once once the car in front of me and traffic started moving, I, I put my hand out the window, signaling for him to go ahead and cut in front of me. Okay, this nigga saw me, <laughs> give him the signal so he can cut in front of me, right? And he switched his signal from turning uh, uh, left to turning right. And as he was driving the opposite way, come, coming my way, uh, so like before he came past me or whatever, right? He yelled out, he looked at me and yelled out the window, nigga, I ain't turning left, bitch ass, Nick. You see? That's what I'm all in loud and aggressive and just smashed off. I couldn't do nothing but laugh, man. You know? Because I'm like, what? I said, I would never, I would never offer it for another Nick, okay? <laughs> to cut in front of me again, man. Okay. But see, this is why this is why the scriptures say this, man. Okay. It says, Least he overmaster thee thereby, for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. See? Why? You know, if I bless somebody, I want to get blessed. You see? The scriptures talk about uh 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 um 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 Blessed are those that 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 a help or bless a man of the Lord or a prophet, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. That's in the scriptures, man. You see? So I'd rather help a godly man, okay? Because I'm gonna get a blessing from that, man. You ain't gonna get no blessing helping a nigga. <laughs> you're not gonna get a blessing. Look, the scriptures clearly say you're gonna get twice as much evil for trying to for trying to bless or help a wicked, a wicked, ungodly man. See? So, Captain Zazariak, what is you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, man? All right. So, let's get this. Let's get this. All right. Let me get these last two and then we'll close it out. Salaki, I didn't mean to make it this long, right? But Lord willing, it's edifying. Okay. This is, uh, let me see. This is the book of Romans, <clears throat> chapter 9. All right. And we'll start at verse 27. All right. To 29. Okay, and it reads, Asias, okay, all right, Asias also crieth concerning Israel, okay, so we're talking about the Israelites, that, that's the subject matter, right, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, right, which that means that there are billions of Israelites across the world, right, 
a remnant shall be saved. Okay, a remnant. See that? Oh, I can't. Okay, let me see. Let's go into that word remnant, man. Okay. For you idiots that want to, you know, try to uh, uh, wake up all Israel, right? He an Israelite. He a so-called black man, a so-called Puerto Rican man, a so-called Mexican man. I'm going to go help him. Like, no, man. You know, you're not following the instructions, man. All right. So let's go into a uh, rem remnant. Okay. Remnant definition. All right. What is what is what does the word remnant means? Okay, as you can see at the bottom here. Okay, a small remaining quantity of something. A small remaining quantity. That's why the scripture says, "Though Israel be as the sand of the sea, a, a, a great number of people, a great mass number of people." All right, only a remnant shall be saved. See, only a remnant shall be saved, man. All right, and what does the word remnant means? All right. A small remaining quantity of something, a small remaining quantity of something. man. So a small remaining quantity of people are only going to be delivered out of the mass majority of Israelites. But that's why it says that what it says in Zechariah 13 all right, chapter 13 and verse eight. OK, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. You see. But the third part, the Lord is going to bring through the fire and save. See. All right. So with that, all right, like going back to the title, Yahweh Shai delivers, not us, okay? All right, so let's get this in Luke, and then we'll close it out, all right? The book of, uh, let's see, the well, matter of fact, let me get it in the blue letter, all right? And then we'll close it out. Come on. The book of St. Luke, um, chapter 1, and we'll start at verse 70, okay? Let's go all the way down. There we go. All right. And it reads, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, who? The Lord, Yahweh. Okay. Bashem Yahweh Shai also. All right. It says, which have been since the world began, right? And still to this day, right? You have prophets on earth. Verse uh, 71, that we should be saved. Who? Who is the we? The Israelites. Okay. But only that small remnant, all right, that small remaining quantity of Israelites, okay, that we should be saved from our enemies. See, remember, we read earlier, the Lord, the Lord, uh, uh, um, via the curses, okay, delivered us into the hands of our enemies, man. Okay, you see, so only, so only his son, all right, only through his son are we delivered. That's what Yahweh Shai's name mean, okay, Yah, he. Yahweh Shai, that delivers or that saves, okay? Yahweh Shai, okay? So Yahweh Shai delivers, not us, man, okay? We're here to do one job and do it and, and do it the way the Lord told us to do it. That's it. You let the Lord uh, 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 um, control everything else, man, because he is, he is in control. We're not in control, man, all right? It says that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, man. See, all right. The Lord's gonna Yahweh Shai is gonna going to uh, deliver us from the curses, man. Verse seventy two to perform the mercy promised unto our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. See, all right. It says the oath which He swore to our father Abraham. See. That he would grant unto us that that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. OK, and ultimately that's going to be in the kingdom of heaven, man. OK, you see, which is going to be ruled over by who? Yahweh Shai. OK, and our King David. OK, you see. So, Lord willing, um, I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, this is edifying to the body and the faith of the sheep of the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. All right, Shalom and the Bible Ball.